Every Thursday, we highlight stories affecting consumers, and this morning, we're focusing on a medical consumer story. More than a million babies have been born in the U.S. through in vitro fertilization. Now, a California couple is suing a fertility clinic that mistakenly implanted their embryo into another woman. A stranger in New York carried and gave birth to their son without their knowledge. Jamie Yuka spoke to the couple and is in Los Angeles. Jamie, when did they realize what happened? Well, good morning, Anthony. They realized it last April when a representative from Cha Fertility Center called the couple and asked for a DNA sample. One day later, they learned that they had a son born to a different woman across the country. I didn't get to hold him. I didn't get to have him inside of me. I didn't get to feel him kick. And, you know, those are bonding moments that I'm never going to get back. Ani and Ashok Manukin are grateful for their son, Alec, but devastated over the moments they missed. I mean, we're shocked. Are you guys still in shock? Oh, yeah. Our lives will never be the same again. They claim the mix-up happened when Cha Fertility Center mistakenly implanted their embryo, as well as the embryo of another couple, into a woman living in New York City. The two babies were born March 31st to an Asian couple who thought they were having twins. The day they were born, they had apparently called Cha and told them, OK, we're Asian and these children are white. They're Caucasian. These children are definitely not ours. The Manukins say they were then asked by the fertility clinic to submit their DNA. The next day, a company representative told them they had a son. She said, think of it as a good thing. You have a son now. And then I just like, like burst out, like I just lashed out. What about the, the woman, you know? What is she going through right now? The Manukins endured a court fight to gain custody of their son. The other baby born to the New York couple was also returned to his biological parents. It was hard not, not knowing where your child is, you know, not knowing if you're ever going to be able to get him back. We just, just sat there and just looked at each other and cried all day because we didn't know if we're ever going to see him. On Wednesday, the Manukins filed a lawsuit against Cha Health Systems with accusations that include breach of contract, medical malpractice, and fraud. The anonymous New York couple is also suing in a separate lawsuit. This is just a failure of epic proportions. Adam Wolf is the Manukins attorney. I can't see how they could ever trust Cha again. What we hope happens through this is that there is not only just compensation, but accountability for Cha and an understanding this will never, ever, ever happen again. Cha put my family through a living hell. Cha has not responded to our repeated requests for comment. Over three months after the surprise birth, the Manukins are now bonding with their new son. How does he seem to be doing with the two He's of you? He's doing great. Yeah. He's smiling, he's rolling over. Our kids are the light of our lives. The Manukin's attorney told me that three different women all had embryos implanted on the same day last August, including Ani and that New York City woman. Now, while Ani's did not result in a pregnancy, we're told the embryo that was implanted inside of her was from a stranger, Anthony. Uh, well, that's just an infuriating story, Jamie. Thank you very much.